Digging holes has been part of our life for, well, as long as we've been on this planet. Big holes, little holes, holes that go down for miles into the earth. Humans seem to instinctively want to dig just as much as your dog does in the yard. There are a wide variety of reasons why we dig holes, whether for construction, for mining, or for treasure hunters to look for lost pirate booty. When it was the prehistoric era, we might have dug holes like animals, for shelter, finding food, hiding food, or just for boredom. But how far can you actually dig by hand? Well, it depends on a variety of factors. One of the simplest factors is your height. You're limited by your height because you have to be able to remove the dirt and place it on the outside of the hole. After a certain point, you'll have gotten too deep and can no longer get the dirt out of the hole you dug. This is all subjective though. Obviously, one can dig a hole deeper than their height if they have external help from either someone else or a machine. Sometimes building a pulley system to haul the dirt out can also help. Congratulations, you've just discovered how to build a simple mine. Of course, even with the help of a contraption like that, when digging a hole by hand at a certain depth if the hole isn't reinforced and supported by an infrastructure, it can become dangerous and beyond what digging by hand is capable of. Obviously, the simplest form of digging tool is a simple shovel. In prehistoric times, a crude shovel made out of animal bones would do the trick for small jobs. Eventually, metal shovels would come on the scene, but they still only get you so far down. After the Industrial Revolution, steam and electricity took over. Eventually, large excavating machines became the standard for moving earth and digging large holes. Then there's the question of what happens if you dig too deep. Is it even possible to dig too deep? Well, it just gets more complicated. First of all, in most places, if you own the land and operate under the proper permits, you can pretty much dig as deep as you want to. But there's a good chance that after a certain point, you'll hit water. Congratulations again, you just accidentally dug a well. For most people, this means the end of their hole. But if you want to keep digging deeper despite the water, you have to acquire a pump. But the water has to be removed from the hole faster than it's filling it. So it better be a strong pump. But if you can get the water out, you're free to keep digging. The deepest hole in the world is in Russia and is over 40,000 feet deep. But even that hole is only a fraction of the way through the Earth's crust, and the temperature was already hundreds of degrees. But let's say the heat and the pressure weren't an issue. Even then, can you dig a hole to China? No, you can't. Antipodes are locations on Earth that are directly opposite each other. If the hole was dug in the United States, China is actually also in the Northern Hemisphere. It's impossible to reach it. If you were physically able to dig a hole to the other side, somehow surpassing the incredibly hot molten core of the Earth, you would most likely end up in the ocean, unless you're very lucky and hit one of the few small islands in the Indian Ocean known as the French Southern and Antarctic lands that are on the direct opposite side of the Earth from the United States. If you did get lucky and managed to hit those two very small and relatively uninhabited French islands and once again and were able to survive the Earth's super hot molten core, it would probably take you around 42 minutes to fall all the way through the hole and onto the other side. 42 minutes sounds like a long time to fall, but if you happen to have an important meeting on one of the islands and need to get to the other side of the planet in a hurry, this would be much faster than any other means of transportation, but also pretty much impossible. Studies have shown that many of us have an instinctive habit to dig for no real reason, but sometimes we do it for survival, curiosity, or even just fun. Remember, digging can be dangerous, especially the deeper you go. So always talk to an adult or local official first and dig with multiple people for safety. If you do decide to dig, let us know what you find.